What's up guys? In today's video we are making some amazing Irish pancakes and I call these Irish pancakes because it is the most simple, amazing and basic recipe that people in Ireland use on Pancake Tuesday, Shrove Tuesday, Pancake Day, whatever you want to call it, on the run up to Lent. To use up all of those what would have been considered to be luxury items in their cupboards in their fridge like their eggs, their butter and their milk. Now let's gather our ingredients and let's get making some pancakes. So for today's recipe, you will need plain flour and I've also added a pinch of salt to that. Whole milk, you can even use a plant-based milk. One large free range egg, two tablespoons of a flavorless oil. You'll also need some extra for greasing your frying pan or in my case today being fancy, my crepe maker. If you prefer a sweeter pancake, you can also add some optional sugar. First thing as always is to sieve our dry ingredients into a bowl. I've just added a touch of sugar to this recipe because I do like them a little bit on the sweet side. Make a well in the center of your flour and salt and crack in that lovely large free range egg. Take a whisk and your milk and just gently start to whisk and combine those ingredients together. Add your milk slowly Work from the center outwards until you form a really smooth, glossy batter. You want the mixture to drop nicely off your whisk. At this point, you can add your oil. If you'd prefer to use butter, go ahead and do that. And that is it. That's your batter. Leave it to rest on your countertop covered with a tea towel for about an hour. Now today I am using my crepe maker because as I said, feeling a little bit fancy, but this method works exactly the same with a frying pan. So if anybody is curious, this crepe maker is from Breville. I've had it for about six years and I find it to be absolutely fantastic. So with the heat somewhere between medium and high, I'm going to go ahead and grease it with, again, some flavorless oil. And at that point, I'm actually going to turn the heat down to a medium. We definitely don't want the heat of our pan or our crepe maker to be way too hot because it's just going to burn one side of our pancake and the other side won't cook. I find a really easy way to get relatively even sized pancakes is to use a soup ladle. I'm going to pour out one ladle of the batter. Just work it around the surface a little bit with the back of my spoon. You don't have to do this. I just prefer these pancakes more on the thin side. Now with this recipe, because there is no raising agent, there is no bubbles on the surface of the pancake like you might get with say an American style pancake recipe. So we have to use our judgment to know when it's time to flip. Two ways you know that they're ready. First way is that as you can see on the time lapse here, the color has completely changed and the batter is pretty much solidified. And just having a peek underneath, you'll see that it has also turned a lovely golden brown color. Repeat the same steps over again until you have used up all of your batter. When you take your pancake off the pan, top tip is to stack them on top of each other and also to keep them underneath another plate. That heat keeps them warm. It also keeps them moist and prevents them from drying out so that you get lovely, pliable, rollable pancakes. Gather all of your favorite toppings together. For me, it's always fresh berries, lemon juice, honey, sugar, chocolate, all the good stuff. Roll up and enjoy. Everybody loves these pancakes. They go down a treat and they won't last five minutes in your kitchen. And if you do make these pancakes, don't forget to let me know in the comment section down below. And also don't forget to tag me on my social media. Links are in the description box. Hit that like and subscribe button before you go. And I can't wait to see you back on my channel really soon. Bye.